You were one of the co-founders of uh, the string theory. The string field theory, which yeah. in turn is a branch of string theory. That's I don't right. understand that. I'm too dumb for that. I've tried. <laughs> I've tried. I've, I've heard multiple versions, explanations. I've heard it described. It's still Greek to me. It's music. Yeah. You know, uh, Pythagoras was a rival of Democrates. Democrates talked about atoms 2,000 years ago. And uh, Pythagoras said, no, no, no. Music is the language of the universe. So he looked at a lyre string and said, look at the vibrations. Each vibration corresponds to a musical note. The universe is music. The universe is created by vibrating things. Each vibration corresponds to a note. How did Pythagoras figure that out? He looked at a, he went to a um, an, um, blacksmith where there were long bars of metal and they were clanging these bars of metal. He realized that the longer the metal, the lower the note. And he said, aha, there's a relationship between the length of the object, its strength, and the note. And then he looked at a lyre string, and he said, the longer the lyre string, the lower the note. Mm. Why? The more, more wavelengths. And then he said, this is the universe. What explains the diversity? What paradigm is rich enough to explain the diversity of the entire universe? Atoms, but what makes atoms different? And then he said, it's music. But then they never went anywhere because, of course, the atomic theory wasn't created for another 2,000 years. But finally, with the atomic theory, we now have subatomic particles. But why do we have so many subatomic particles? They're nothing but musical notes on a tiny, tiny little vibrating string. So this is the electron, vibrates this way. This is a quark. This is a neutrino. So why do we have so many particles in the particle zoo? They're nothing but vibrations on a tiny string. So what is physics? Physics is the harmonies, the harmonies of little vibrating strings. What is chemistry? Chemistry is the melodies you can play when these strings bump into each other. Then what is the universe? The universe is a symphony of strings. And then what is the mind of God? that Albert Einstein wrote about so eloquently for 30 years. The mind of God would be cosmic music resonating through hyperspace. That would be the mind of God.